Hey, what's going on? It's Brian. In today's video, I'm going to test ChatGPT's ability to take data that I provide to it and then allow me to query ChatGPT in a conversational manner on the data that I provide. I'm also going to take a brief look at the Playground OpenAI API interface and see how that also handles the same. Okay, so I'm going to start out with setting a context for ChatGPT, and I'm going to basically tell it that I'm going to provide some product information, and I want to be able to ask questions about the data that I give it and have it respond back only using the data that I provide. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this context prompt at the beginning. And you'll see that it says, sure, go ahead, paste in the product information, and I'll do my best to answer any questions you have. So I'm going to come in here and paste in my product data. And you can see that I have product name, description of the product, price of the product. I'm just going to put some spaces here and manufacturer of the product. So I'll go ahead and send that information. Okay, so that's interesting. It's coming back and asking me based on the product description and price provided. I don't think I specifically said, I said just limit it using the data provided in your replies. So let's see if I can go ahead and say, who makes this phone? Okay, manufactured by Samsung. So it's pulling that data value in. Does this product cost more than $500? And if so, by how much? Okay. Uh, let's see what else we can pull out here. Uh, what quality video can you record at? Okay, so it's telling me I can record in 8K, double the resolution of 4K, duh. <laughs> uh, let's see, what else can we pull out of this information? Um, does it have any AI functionality? Does the phone have any AI features? Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, please provide me a short summary of the description of this product in simple and easy terms. Okay, so that gives me good information on the phone and it also includes the price. Um, please make this even shorter. Excellent. Please describe this phone in extensive detail. Okay, so it's obviously getting additional information about this phone from data that it was trained on because this data is not included in the data that I provided it. But you can see how it was honoring my request to keep it limited to my product data and now I'm asking you it to do something outside the boundaries of the data that I provided. I would have expected it to respond back and say that it doesn't know that information, but you can see that it's given me quite the write up here. And then it's giving me the price from our product data. I'd like to provide information on a second product and be able to ask questions about the two products I have provided data on. See if we can expand this a little bit to include another product. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in. This is gonna be the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm going to get rid of Apple here. Description of product. Price of product. Manufacturer Apple. Okay, good. So I'll go ahead and submit that information. 
Okay. So who are the manufacturers of these products? Okay, that's accurate. Uh, let's see. What type of display does the iPhone 12 use? Okay, so Super Retina XDR display. Is the, uh, sorry, which product costs less money? Okay, let's see about uh, what, what type of drop performance do these phones have? Okay, so if we look at the product data, we don't have anything for drop performance for the Samsung. I know that to be true, but this product data does actually provide ceramic shield with four times better drop performance. And now I'm gonna ask it a question that I don't expect it to have an accurate answer for. Which of these two phones is the better phone? <laughs> if you were a person shopping for one of these two phones, which phone has the better features. See if we can trick it. Okay, so it's telling me why it thinks the Samsung Galaxy stands out and why it thinks the iPhone 12 Pro Max stands out. And then it's basically telling me that the phone that would be better for me depends on my individual needs and priorities. Okay, so this is the same kind of a test. However, I'm using the Playground API UI versus the ChatGPT. And you can see here, as part of this interface, you have the ability to define something about the system. And then over on the right is what the user would be doing. And I'm doing mode of chat, and I'm using the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. And you can see here that I've put in, you are an assistant on an e-commerce website. The user will ask you questions about product data. You will respond with short and concise answers strictly based on the data provided below. The data provided will be referred to as product one and product two. So then you can see that I have product one and then I have information about the product and then I have product two and I have information about that product. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. Who makes these phones? Okay, so it's coming back product one, Samsung Galaxy is made by Samsung. Product two, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is made by Apple. Okay, I'm going to say, please do not include product one or product two in your responses. I'll say labels in your responses. Okay, so now I will say, who makes these phones? Okay, which phone is less expensive? What type of display 
does the iPhone have? What type of drop performance does the Samsung have? Now remember, it doesn't actually have any. Okay, that's good. So you can see this information is a little bit more generic or rudimentary. It's not actually in like a conversational format. Which of these two phones has better video quality. Okay. Which phone would recommend for someone looking to just take simple photos. Okay, so you can see it's giving me a little bit of a recommendation based on the fact that I'm talking about photos specifically. It's referring to the single take AI feature which can capture images and video up to 15 seconds in just one single take, making it easier to capture great photos and videos without needing advanced photography skills. <laughs> Samsung better than Apple. Remain neutral. Which manufacturer has a larger customer base? 